I'm Frankie Kennedy, hopping in. And we're putting the good in your Good Friday. Let's get started with some odds and ends. Okay, I was starting to get over this, but now listen to this. People are getting tattoos of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. <laughs> oh, wow. Will this topic never die? <laughs> I thought tattoos were supposed to be meaningful. What does this mean to you? Well, and if they're not meaningful, then let, like maybe like I always say like one of a kind or really, really cool. And I guess this is one of a kind, but it's just also really fucking stupid. <laughs> Whoever's out there with tattoos of this, please let us know why. Are you really like Chris Rock and Will Smith fans? Yeah. Are you a fan of slaps. <laughs> Please, no, don't get it. Don't get this tattooed no. on you. Come on. What are I, you gonna do when you're like 90 years old, like telling your grandkids like, one time. Okay, well, <laughs> then I can't really talk because I'm guessing that when I'm a grandma, this later sluts tattoo <laughs> will not, might not be the best thing, but I just think I'm gonna be a really cool granny. People, yeah. come on, what are we doing? What are we Let doing? the slap rest in peace, please. I'm going to, okay? And speaking of resting in peace, a rapper's memorial service included his body displayed standing on a stage. Well, I guess I should say not resting in peace because this is just awful. Rapper Gunu had been shot and the public memorial service was planned. So when mourners arrived, his body was standing upright on a stage wearing a crown. I'm honestly mortified and that's gonna be like, I'm gonna have PTSD of that vision in my head. It is like a real life weekend at Bernie's, except for that actor was alive and he was just playing limp. Is This is so weird and eerie and not right. The rapper's family said it's exactly how he would have wanted his memorial to go down. The people that showed up just didn't know they were gonna see his body standing on the stage. Yeah. Oh my God, that's even worse. I think the open caskets are creepy enough this, is, this just takes it to a whole other level. Even when you go to these open casket funerals, there's always a little bit of like shock when yeah. you see the body, but imagine it standing up. That's just- In a club setting. <laughs> it's just a whole other level <laughs> of creepy and scary. I'm sorry. No, I, but that's what he wanted. Yeah. Burger King is being sued for making its burgers look bigger in its advertising. This isn't new. No. We all know that the pictures look better than the real thing when it comes to fast food. I don't mind this. No. Either make your pictures reflect the real thing or make some better burgers. Or, I mean, also, it is just fast food if you're like really picky about your burger. Burger King, really? Yeah. Like, let's level up <laughs> here, people. So the lawsuit alleges Burger King lied to consumers by making its food look much larger than it really is. Well, <laughs> it says the chain started to materially overstate burger sizes in ads starting in September 2017. And so he's noticed that. Like, he's literally looking at the ads that closely. <laughs> he's like comparing. I think he's a little bit too obsessed with the Whopper. It claims Whoppers <laughs> in new ads look 35% bigger with about twice the meat. He actually has numbers here. I want to see this guy's spreadsheet. <laughs> I want to yeah. see your spreadsheet, bud. I mean, so, yeah. It is fast food. I mean, it's known for the pictures being way off than what it actually is, and that's nothing new. I know it's fast food, but everybody's money is their money, and some five dollars to someone might be a lot. And you want to go and you want to get a burger that looks half fucking decent and tastes not bad either. Yeah. So make better burgers. Come on. That'll do it for us on this week's Odds and Ends. But if you've got a taste for more of us, like this video and subscribe to our channel to make sure you never miss another of our treats. See you again soon, everybody.